Hi everyone and welcome to Grammar episode 33. Today we're talking about adverb pairs, adverb clauses and noun phrases. Let's begin with adverb pairs. What are they and how do we use them? First of all, let's understand an adverb. An adverb is one word that gives more information about the verb, about the action. It tells us how we do it, where we do it, when we do it, how often and how much. Adverb examples are things like quickly and slowly for how we do it, in the garden for where we do it, yesterday or tomorrow for when we do it, always and never for how often we do something, and very or almost for how much we do it. So as you can see, an adverb describes many things about a verb. Now let's have a look at adverb pairs. As the word pair suggests, we put two adverbs together to show how much we do the verb. Words include quite, so, extremely, less, more or most, rather, only, almost and very. So we use these words alongside another adverb. So you can add any of these words in front of a normal adverb. Now let's look at some examples of adverb pairs. You'll see the adverb pair word in blue and the other normal adverb in red. The children played quite happily. You are behaving rather strangely. I visit her less frequently. I must visit her more frequently. The choir sang so beautifully. So you see the blue word is the extra word I add to make an adverb pair. And the LY is the adverb. Some more examples. I crept into my room almost silently. I shouted extremely loudly. I worked very carefully. I moved to this house only recently. She sings most beautifully. So if you look at the last example, beautifully is a normal adverb. And because I added most in front of the word beautifully, which is the blue word, I made an adverb pair. Now let's look at what an adverb clause is. An adverb clause is when you have more than two words and give more detail about the verb than you do with a normal adverb pair. So we're adding much more information this time. Let's have a look at how we can do this. First of all, adverb clauses give more information about why we do a verb, when we do a verb, and how we do a verb. So why, when, how a verb happens. Now let's look at some examples. In this example, I will tell you why the verb happened. So why did the verb happen? Let's have a look. You'll see the verb in green and you'll see the adverb clause in blue. My car stopped because the engine broke. Because the engine broke is the adverb clause and it comes immediately after the verb. Now we will look at an example about when a verb will happen. You'll see again the verb in green. My car will start again when the engine is fixed. So when the engine is fixed is your adverb clause because it tells you when the verb will happen. Now we will look at how a verb will happen. My car will start again if I take it to the mechanic. So how if I take it to the mechanic? That's your adverb clause. Now let's look at noun phrases. But first let's understand what a noun is. A noun is only one word and it is the name of something. It could be a person or an animal, a thing or an object, an emotion, a place, an idea or an activity. Some examples of nouns, a person could be mother or a name like Marina. It could be an animal like a dog or a cat, a place like school or Paris, a thing or an object like a desk, tree, flower, an idea like friendship, honesty, an emotion like happiness or sadness, or an activity like swimming and jogging. Noun phrases have more than one word, meaning at least two words, and give more information or detail about the noun that you're describing. So we're not using one word anymore, we're using two or more. 
Now, a noun phrase can go in the subject part of the sentence before the main verb or in the object part of the sentence after the main verb. Now, let's have a look at some words we can use to make a noun phrase. We can use an article, a and the, a demonstrative adjective, this, these, that, those, normal adjectives like tall, thin, short, fat, even prepositions in, on, at, under, over, or any other nouns we want. So all of these words can be mixed and matched to make a noun phrase. Now we'll look at some examples. In blue, in the subject part of the sentence, you will see your noun phrase. The man in the hall is my Uncle Peter. The green word is, is your verb. So the man in the hall is the noun phrase here. And why is it a noun phrase? Because I tell you where this man is. Here is the next example. The noun phrase again is in blue in the subject part of the sentence because the subject always comes before the main verb, which is in green here. So the noun phrase is the angry dog. The angry dog is barking at me. Is barking is your present progressive grammar and the angry dog is your noun phrase because it tells you more information about the dog. The angry dog. Now let's look at one more example. Again, the noun phrase is in blue, but this time it's in the object part of the sentence, which comes after the main verb, which is in green. I kicked, there's my verb, the stone under my shoe. There's my noun phrase. And remember, it's in the object part of the sentence. So why is this a noun phrase? Because I tell you where the stone is, so it's more information about the stone. Good luck.